30 years ago, our first guest received the educational opportunity of a lifetime, and she used it to build a thriving career as an actress, author, filmmaker, and businesswoman. Oh, yeah, she's just phenomenal. Yeah. Now she's passing this chance on to the Aww. next generation. Here to discuss her work with the Oliver Scholars Program is Tanya Wright, along with one of this year's recipients, Andrew Davis. Welcome oh, to the show, Thank both you. of you. Thanks for having us. Talk to us about the Oliver Scholars Program, because it really was a game changer for you, wasn't it? Yeah, the Albert G. Oliver Program um, was actually founded in 1984 by a wonderful man named John Hoffman. And he had conceived this concept of selecting talented, um, high schoolers to, uh, I'm sorry, talented middle schoolers to go to prestigious high schools and then obviously go on to wonderful colleges across the country. Um, and we've graduated, I guess, over a thousand students so far. How so, did you become a part of the program? Did you have to apply? Were you Well, at selected? the time, it was just me, my sister, and another gentleman named Richard, and there wasn't a program per se. That was a long time ago. Okay. Um, it has since graduated and progressed, and it's now turning out wonderful young gentlemen. So you're, like you're a pioneer in this movement. Yes. You've obviously had enough uh, evidence of why something like this is so important. So why is an organization like this so important? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, I'll, yeah, I'll ask me. you. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think education is the foundation of all things good, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it, is, it is the way that we learn to navigate life. Um, you know, the way that it's helped me the most is it's enabled me to, if I don't see something in the world that I like yeah. or enjoy or want to do, I can create it. And I think that my education has given me the tools to do that. So okay. how, what yeah. has it done so, for you, sir? Andrew, you're one of the scholarship recipients <clears throat> this year. Talk right. to us about how being in this program has changed your life. Uh, well, it opened, it opened up a road that I had known was there. Mm -hmm. Really before seventh grade and before Oliver came knocking on the door, I suppose, I didn't really know what prep schools were, what independent schools were. I, I did, wasn't really thinking about high school in the general. Mm -hmm. When Oliver came, it opened up a new, it opened a new lane for me to explore. Mm -hmm. And when I took that chance, I ended up at the Browning School, a small all boys prep school on, east, on the Upper East Side. And that was really something unique. It was really something different. It was more diverse than what I had ever experienced before. Oh. And it was really a great opportunity. And where are you going to college? And uh, now I'm going, going to be going to Cornell University. Cornell. Awesome. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Thank yes. you. That's awesome. Now, Oliver Scholars has an astonishing 100% matriculation rate. My goodness. How is this possible? Well, I think that they've been, um, really magnificent and efficient in selecting the best of the best. Um, and I think that when you give support to the best of the best, it's... it's you get results. Yeah, and, and these kids fly as well they should. Um, they deserve it. They're usually hardworking, ambitious. Um, they have the support of their family. It's a great network uh, within the Oliver program. So it's, uh, it's exciting, it's exciting to be a part of. Now, how do you become a part of this program now if you want your child to participate? Yeah, I think it's albertgolliverscholars.com okay. uh, or .org, and uh, there's an application system, and it is rigorous. It is. Uh, as well, it should be. Um, and, um, and so that's how you... Well, your sister, yes. Sheena, was also an Oliver Scholar. Yes. Today, she's the president and CEO of the United Way, the first woman that's to right. hold this title, correct? She is. What, does she also credit the organization for her success? Oh, what? absolutely. I think that we all do. You know, I think that... Uh, it, you know, it, it, it was a, it's a springboard to other things. Um, and so. all disciplines, it seems, because mm -hmm. here you are, and an actress, director, writer, yes. and then she's in this wonderful, you know, public service domain. Mm -hmm. It really, it, it seems like it channels everything. Yes, it's great. It's great. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are you looking forward to in your freshman year of college at, uh, at Cornell? Everything, meeting new people, uh, taking new courses. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you want to major in, do you know? Uh, right now, I'm intending to study psychology. Really? I don't know if that's going to be my major, but it's interesting to now, so might as well go for it. <laughs> I minored in psychology at Morehouse. I really? can say it's a good thing to explore. <laughs> <laughs> now, before you go, we've got to talk about Orange is the New Black. Oh, it yes. starts in a few weeks. It does. What can we expect? 
You can expect more of the wonderful shenanigans that <laughs> Jinji Kohan and her talented group of writers and producers uh, dream up for us every year. But we want specifics. Uh, well, they'll, they'll come soon enough. You know? I know, but we can't wait. I yeah. know. I Scoop. know. Just a it's little about scoop. faith. So faith will be this a, is, a this, threat. This is a season about faith. about faith. What has it been like working with Laverne Cox? Oh, my goodness. I adore Laverne Cox. Yeah. Um, Laverne, and Uzo Aduba and... and well, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Danielle. Okay. yeah I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a cast of actors where, honestly, usually after you've shot your scene, you're, you know, you're looking for the door to, to, to get on with your life. But we actually all sit down and watch each other after, after we're done work yeah. um, in awe of one another. Um, and it's such great gratitude at this wonderful, interesting, complex show of these wonderfully diverse women. Um, so it's 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 a joy. It's a We've joy. had several cast members on the show, uh -huh. and they always talk about what a joy it is to actually go to work and not have to worry about your appearance, right? Uh -huh. And get made under as right. opposed to getting a makeover. Uh -huh. What do you make of that? Um, <laughs> well, you know, I think it's. You know, it's it's just wonderful to be able to play different mm -hmm. different roles. Different roles call for for different things. Um, you know, I am not in the prison, so I have yeah. not experienced that yet. Yeah. But um, no, hopefully yet, never. She says. Hopefully yet. never. No. Yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for you? Uh, exactly. Yeah. Well, actually, I am very hard at work on a hair care line called Harriet. We just launched on HSN on Thursday. Fantastic. Awesome. Uh, yes. Thank you. It's a, a hair care line for women with naturally textured hair, like mm -hmm. my. Myself. It's where the industry is yes. now. It's where we all are now. Yeah, yeah. and um, I'm doing lots of hair shows and all kinds of shenanigans. We're also going to uh, launch at Whole Foods, select uh, New York City Whole Foods next month. Fantastic. So very excited, very hardworking. You know, I'm very much an entrepreneur as well as an actor and uh, all this stuff. But I'm really happy to be able to be here to support this wonderful organization well, as well. congratulations well. to you and congratulations yes. to you, Andrew yes. Cornell. Here yes. he comes. Big things, Yay. big things. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360. We'll be right back.